Maybe it's a cool shot, I don't know. Jeep's all the way over there. Might have to move the camera. Let's move it over. Ready to go. What's up, Life Right Nation? Hey, what's going on, Life Right Nation? Hi, Life Right Nation. So, we, as you can see, we're at Shoals and Products right now because we have some stuff to pick up. <laughs> Unabashed product placement. <laughs> no, so uh, we actually have some stuff to pick up specifically for Chris. Yeah, my welding hood took a poop, so I gotta get a new one. And I need one because I need to learn how to weld. And I need, don't need one. But, while we're doing <laughs> this, but as soon as we finish doing this, Kevin and I are actually about to leave. We're gonna leave Chris to do, or at least get started on, our first really big build. Somewhat big build. At the daycare so, center. Not really, really big. It's not like it's an engine the, swap, but it's, it's a it's, lot. It's, it's, it's a decent size. It's a decent yeah. size build. A couple build. days work. Yeah. And he's gonna get started on that because Kevin and I have a super secret mission. We're going on a secret mission, guys. We're going on. We're actually driving down to Phoenix to pick up something pretty freaking rad, which you can't know about right now. You'll have to find out. Next video or two. Mm. Yeah, in the next video too. I don't and know. I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah, so you don't try to, don't, you, we're not, you just gotta wait. Well, you, you get to wait guess though. You get to guess. Yeah. And if you guess right, maybe I send you a sticker. I don't know. Just, just guess in you the comments. Be very specific. What, what you think uh, we're buying. But, anyways, in the meantime, let's get him a welding helmet so he can get started on something super cool. And if you want a little bit of a hint, if you follow our Instagram, we put hints in there all the time. All the time, guys. All the time. All the times. Super sneak peeks. You guys know what knee pads are for? Brittany knows. Actually, Brittany doesn't know she's married. What are you getting, Chris? No, I'm not getting knee pads. Are you already looking I'm for a raise, dude? Knee pads. We just started. You can't get a raise already. So, Kevin and Brittany are on another adventure. Secret adventure. But uh, while they're gone, you'll never guess what I'm doing today. Yeah. We're building another Jeep, our second victim. <laughs> so what we have here today is a 2015 Jeep Rubicon. Uh, pretty stock, got some wheels, some uh, questionable sliders. Uh, we're gonna try to upgrade those as well. We're looking for some right now. I mean, he's done a couple of trips. He's done a couple of trails in this guy already. So, I mean, he has wheeled it. But other than that, it's pretty much stock. Light upgrades, got some bumpers on it. All the running gear is pretty much stock. So we got a Terraflex long arm kit, four inch lift long arm kit going on this Jeep JK, along with some dirty life wheels. Look at those guys, these things are bad We got everything out of the box. Looks like we have front arms, drop bracket for the track bar, some bump stops, some hockey pucks with holes in them. Those are weird. I don't know what those are for. Front springs, hardware, hardware kit, front link brackets, more hardware. Rear springs, these questionable things, I don't know what those are. Those are yeah, weird, questionable. Rear brackets, rear arms, rear pan hard bar or drag link or you Jeep guys call them something else. Rear arms, look, it's more hockey pucks with holes in them. I don't know what these are for, that's weird. Oh, and there's Jelly Bean, wandering around the shop. Hi, Jelly. Uh, in instructions? <laughs> Yeah, don't really need those. And that's it. So uh, we're gonna get this thing racked up, start tearing it apart, and get all the brackets cut off so that we can install this long arm kit. So we got it up in the air. It's not too bad. See, he's definitely wheeled this thing. Yeah, it looks like both axle seals are actually leaking. That one and that one. So we got two axle seals leaking. <sighs> yep, we definitely wheeled it. We got some damage right here. We're cutting those off anyway. Those get cut off. The skid plate here, this is, he's rubbed it on everything. Ooh, a little gouge right there, that's good. I'm gonna cut these guys off too. This gets cut off. This one over here gets cut off. Disc leaking, we're gonna fix that because we're gonna put gears in it anyway. Let's get new gears. It's gonna be a long day. Maybe it's a cool shot, I don't know. Keep it all the way over there. Might have to move the camera. Let's move it up. Ready to go.
All right, so we're getting ready to drop this front axle. Everything's loose, all the nuts are loose. All we got left are the four arms and two shocks. So I made this little cart a while back. This is how we move axles around. I should make a couple more that are adjustable, but this front one, we just, we just weld that on there to pick up the pinion. This is obviously for a passenger side drop front, which uh, is in the Tacoma. Eh, we just cut that off and tack it on over there and we'll just set it down on here and take it off and roll her out from underneath, that easy. All right, so we got the front end torn apart. We got everything off of here. Everything, shocks, bump stops, the whole night, everything. So now I gotta come in here and cut this off, get up in here and cut all this off, cause this is where the new mount's gonna go. So that's gonna be fun. But right now we're just gonna concentrate on getting the back out of it. So we got both of the axles out. Everything is out from underneath. So now we gotta do a bunch of cutting. So we're back from our secret mission. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna know what that is for another video or two. But uh, let's go in and see what Chris has been up to while we've been gone. Cause I hear him grinding away in the garage. Oh, did I just get it on video right there? I don't know if I did. We'll have to go back and see. Oh, look, there he is. There's the man. Hey, look, I, you got a supervisor. <laughs> yeah, you got a supervisor over there. So you see these weld marks here. You want to explain what's going on? So the bottom one is from where you kiss the frame with the grinder to peel it off. And the top one is the undercut from the factory weld because I don't like those marks. We grind it all out so that it looks like this. It'll look like a factory, like nothing right. was ever there. Yeah, so what he does is this is where the brackets that he had to cut off and he goes in and welds where the brackets were like what was left yeah. after he grinds it out, welds it, and then grinds it so it looks completely smooth. So let's see what this side looks like. So it's all oh, so yeah, so see, so he's not done here. So here he, he went in and welded all the spots that you know the old bracket has, and then he'll grind it smooth. Otherwise, you're left with did you already clean everything? Uh, Is everything already done? Oh, here you go. So otherwise, after you cut the brackets off, you're left with like these, you know. Holes yeah, and stuff from cutting. There. Yeah, right here's a little bit more. So he'll come back in and actually weld, put some weld over this, and then grind it back down so it's completely smooth. All right, so I got the whole axle apart. So the shafts we just have to pull out just a tiny bit. Again, a lot of coercion with just a brass hammer, and you don't really have to worry about a brass hammer when you're smacking, you know, steel hard. You're not going to damage the steel. Uh, everything in here looks pretty good. We got it all apart. The gears all look good. The bearings all look good. Of course, that's all going to be replaced with the gear kit. We're going with what? Where'd we go with five thirty? 513. So we're going with 513s because going with 37s. 35s, I'd probably go with uh, 488s or 456. It just depends. I got to check that. Maybe we went 488s. We went 488s. We went 488s. I was like, wait a second. 37s, 513s would be a bit, would be a bit deep, uh, be a bit aggressive. You could do it, um, but also keep in mind that the deeper you go in gears from 410 to a 456 to a 488 to a 513, it gets weaker. The, well, the pinion gets smaller, and I'll actually show you the difference once we get that one out. I'll show you the difference between that one and the 488. The pinion gets smaller, technically it gets a, a bit weaker, so keep that in mind. But yeah, we got it apart. He's dancing back there. He's happy. Chris is working on the on the long arm kit while I'm working on the axles. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's all, it's actually all pretty simple. Are you are you ready for me to come film some sexy welding or what? No, a little bit more grinding. Got to clean a little bit more paint off. We'll mock them up and then we'll then we'll be ready. I mean, we could probably do some how to videos, but I I, I feel like you guys aren't watching this for how to. I feel like you're kind of just getting an idea to see if you want to tackle something like this yourself or take it to a shop. So we're just showing you the fun and interesting parts. So if you do pull this apart, you're going to have shims on each side to be able to set the diff here. And here's what they look like. They're just like huge washers. Sometimes they're really thin. Pulled them out, we mic'd them, and then you ride them on the axle so you know which one goes where. So this was 137, this was 126. 
<laughs> you should keep them separated. I have them left and right. You should keep them separated. But if for whatever reason you dropped it or something happened, you know which one goes on which side. It doesn't necessarily mean that the new gears are going to be set up the same, but it's a good at least starting point to check your backlash. So the rear set of gussets, the frame gussets, are located and tacked in on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and weld them up. So we got the gussets welded in. Now we got to fit the rear brackets and do a lot more grinding and prep. So this guy right here is my most favoritest hated tool that I own. So let me show you what it does. So this little guy is how we get into these little nooks and crannies right here to clean all the powder coating out of here because you don't want to weld powder coat because uh, it doesn't work so well. But it gives you these little freaking shards right here. Oh, and they like to stick in your skin. Ah, slivers, metal slivers. I hate them, I hate them. But we need them to clean this thing out and this guy out so that we can weld these guys to the frame. So this one's bolted up, so you see it. So it locates it with this bolt here, and there's two bolts through the cross member here, so it locates it, and then he can just start burning it in. We should be, should be good to go. So, all right, we got it all clamped up, fitted, and ready to weld. So let's get some porn music going. <laughs> no? And the supervisor's here. Dang! Not too bad. So unfortunately, we went to dinner and now it's dark out. <laughs> but it's like 10 o'clock at night and it's still light outside, which is crazy here. So I just came back out. Look at that. I just cleaned and got it ready to go. Look at that. Oh man, that looks so good. Well, cool. Good job, man. It looks great. So Chris just informed me that generally, the general rule of thumb is you don't tighten all that down until it's on the ground at right height, but these have sleeves in them, so you can you can tighten them up, and the sleeves will still rotate. Let's oh, see. Can do it right now. Let's do oh, it right now. We can do it right now. Oh, tight. Oh. oh. So, a little quick tip when pulling rear axle shafts out on a semi-float housing, because that's what these are—the semi-floats. What you want to do is take the brake rotor off and flip it around backwards. And then you're gonna put a few lug nuts on and you're just gonna get a couple threads in. Now, I've already taken the, the nuts off the back here that hold it all together. And you're gonna just use this guy as a slide hammer. <laughs> this works better when it's still in the vehicle. It's a lot easier in the vehicle. Got it? <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna come crashing down on me. So generally that works. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always done it attached to the vehicle where it's completely solid and you just kind of get to going. Now, if you're in a shop and you've got tools, you can use a hammer and a punch. You're gonna come right across here to that backing plate and give her a couple whacks, but. Oh, I see a bearing. There it is. That's an RC car. What are those? I thought you've already shown these ones. I don't know. Have I? I'm losing track. <laughs> I am too. I gotta set, I gotta, I gotta keep you over here because they can't see what's over there. Although I think I just got it in the video a few seconds ago. Like a quick little blur. I'll blur it out. Uh, yeah. I'll blur it out. I'll It'll be fine. It so what are you doing today? Why do you look so cute? My, my wife, my beautiful wifey lovey love. I have to go get my Utah driver's license. Which is exciting, but bittersweet because I am a Texas girl at heart. The other thing is in Utah, it doesn't matter what your age is, you have to take a new driver's test. I have to take a freaking like driver's test. It's oh, open, written. it's open book, but I have to take a driver's test. My dad had to take one. Your dad he almost, almost, almost failed. failed. He almost <laughs> failed. <laughs> I'm so, excited to take mine. Yeah, no. yeah. So <laughs> we got a couple pallets today, guys. Straight from America's Most Wanted. 
Oh uh, yeah. So this is our new transfer case because you know we've been having issues with ours. So for those of you who have been wondering about the Atlas, it is done and ready-ish. They have the cables, they have the Atlas, but they are waiting on brackets, like specific brackets, because they don't want to sell just the Atlas and it just be like an afterthought in the JL. The JLs are very nice, they're very new, so they want to make sure that it looks as factory as possible. I mean, it's not a bad deal. Our, our factory one on the stepchild lasted us almost 100,000 miles before we started having issues. And of course, we will be swapping to an Atlas just as soon as we are can. can. They're available. Yeah, probably what I'll do is I'll send this one back to America's Most Wanted if it comes out in a month or two, but I have one more tote. So Trey Weaver here with Pine Island Custom Solutions. They have all these solutions here. Now, Trey Weaver, thank you for sending this. These guys make custom solutions for the shop and just about anything. So they've got aluminum cleaner, aluminum cleaner concentrate, heavy duty cleaner, super duty cleaner. They've, they've kind of got it all. And then they normally sell these in like 55 gallon drums or- 330 gallon totes. 330 gallon totes. Yeah. Trey wanted to make sure that we liked the products before he sent us a bunch of drums that we have to <laughs> deal gallon with. Drum. Right. So as we're doing all these builds, be able to use all of these degreasers and cleaning products to see how we like them to keep the shop clean, to keep all the parts clean, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. Brittany. What? Go get your license. Ugh. Also finish my laundry first. <laughs> how many licorice did you just grab? Well, I'll, I'll walk on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have a bucket, a bucket of red vines that just sits in the garage that we... Oh, oh, man. So anyway, guys, I wanted to go over something really quick. Right now, due to all the shortages, things are backlogged. Everybody's got a crazy wait time. I mean, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 weeks to get parts. Right now, we're actually still waiting on sliders. We need to go to some weld-on steel sliders. Now, let's roll, L-E-T-Z, off-road. They were the only ones I could find that had weld-on sliders. I'm not really a fan of the bolt-on body boat sides. I've seen a lot of Jeeps get damaged with those. So let's roll. We're waiting on sliders from them. They had some out at Powder Coat. JE Reel is making us some drive shafts for it as well. Those are waiting to come in. That's going to be next week sometime before we get all this stuff and we need to close out this video. So if you guys have builds that are at shops or you're looking to build a vehicle right now, looking to build a Jeep, be patient. Be patient with everybody. The parts are crazy back ordered. Pricing's through the roof on steel, on wood, on everything. And I kind of just want to touch base with that because we know a lot of people in the industry and everybody's struggling right now. And there's customers that are mad all over the place. And guys, hang in with those shops. It's not their fault. Orders are coming in like crazy, but it's just all the products are, are very backlogged. So we got the TerraFlex kit about done. You're waiting on what? A bearing puller right now? Bearing puller, which is taking four or five days to get here. Right. So we're waiting on a bearing puller to get the gears done. So the next video will be finishing up the gears and axles, get that back in there, get the drive shafts on and welding on the sliders, and then we'll we'll flex it out. I had an idea of doing a flex wall, like a like the top gear, you know, the celebrity racers. So we'll do a wall and it vehicle that comes in including our own we'll flex them out and tape measure them with the forklift and see what happens there anyway thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share remember you can find all of your light bright nation merch and decals now at lightbrightstudios.com pixel decals is still making our decals and they make a ton of other great decals but we have ordered like a thousand decals for us to just have here at the home base so that way we can ship them out and also we can now autograph them people have always asked for autographed decals so you can get a plain one if you don't want our signature on it or you can order an autographed one those will all be on lightbrightstudios.com now but thank you so much for watching and i guess we'll see you guys next time peace, peace. <laughs> or you can get a discount on your stickers if you ask for my autograph on it <laughs>so we're gonna give this jeep the uh light bright treatment right here oh, i don't like the fuzz i need to clean my lens and this jk right here jk i'm not as good as this Brittany's pretty good at this she just she does this little thing i don't know He kind of wants to save all this gold right here.
I leave for five minutes and these guys yank this thing out of the freaking wall. It's all gone. All gone. All of it. So, today, I ended up getting my dad some chairs and a TV. And I don't think he's moved. I have not moved. <laughs> I don't think he's moved. I've earned these suckers. <laughs> I finally got the ankle bracelet off. The work release program is finally matured. My son got me some chairs. They're nice, aren't they? Oh, these are nice. <laughs> they're so nice. And they're electric, and they got one of them charging ports, and I got a remote for the TV. <laughs> and so we got a brand new 70 inch yeah. TV. It doesn't actually look very big in, the, in this camera. I bet you my head will look big if we watch it on there, but.